Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Many dishwasher repairs will require some disassembly of the appliance. Before you attempt this, you should turn off the power supply to your dishwasher. To remove the upper dish rack, pull the rack out and rotate both front stop clips outward. You can now fully remove the rack. To uninstall a slide rail, release the retaining tabs to remove the rear stop clip, and you can slide the old rail out. When installing a new rail, transfer the front stop clip from the old rail to the new one. With the tab facing the rear, align the new rail on the rollers and snap the rear stop clip into place. Realign the upper dish rack rollers on the slide rails, push the rack in, and rotate the front stop clips inward. To fully remove the top rack, you will need to release the retaining tabs to remove the front stop clips. You can now slide the rack off of the rails. If you need to replace the top wash arm, rotate the support bearing counterclockwise to release the old arm. Install the new wash arm by inserting the support bearing into the arm, then position the arm on the water supply manifold and thread the bearing on clockwise to secure. Confirm the arm spins freely. Align the utensil tray support brackets on the rails and slide the rack in. Realign the two front stop clips on the rails and snap them into place. You can remove the lower wash arm by first removing the lower dish rack, then pull the wash arm straight up to remove. The drain filter can be removed by rotating it counterclockwise. If you need to replace the lower wash arm support, lift off the flat filter. Then use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two mounting screws, securing the support. Place a 2x4 piece of wood under the water supply manifold elbow, and you can press down on the old wash arm support to fully remove it from the manifold. Install the new support by snapping it into place on the manifold. Align the support on the sump and thread the two mounting screws. Realign the flat filter. Realign the drain filter in the sump, then rotate clockwise to lock it into place. Align the wash arm on the support and snap it into place. Confirm that the arm spins freely and replace the lower dish rack. To access door components, use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread all of the screws, holding the inner and outer door panels together. Note the length of each screw and its location on the inner door panel. Remove the top middle right screw last. Slide the outer door panel up to detach. Lift off the control panel 
and you can fully remove the outer panel. To replace the detergent dispenser, first disconnect the wire connector from the door latch so you can rest the control panel on the floor. Now release the tabs to disconnect the two wire connectors from the detergent dispenser. Unthread the six mounting screws, securing the dispenser to the inner door panel. With the screws unthreaded, you can remove the old dispenser. Install the new detergent dispenser by aligning it in the inner door panel. Then thread the six mounting screws to secure. Connect the wire connectors to the appropriate terminals and secure the wires behind the retaining clip. Reinstall the outer door panel by first repositioning the control panel. Connect the wire connector to the door latch, then slide the outer panel onto the inner panel, making sure the lower tabs rest behind the hinges. Replace all of the screws in the appropriate locations, starting with the long top middle right screw To access components on the side panel or underneath the dishwasher, you will need to fully uninstall the appliance. To do this, first shut off the water supply valve. Next, unthread the two mounting screws, securing the lower access panel. Set the panel aside. Use channel lock pliers to loosen the elbow fitting, securing the water supply line to the inlet valve. Fully unthread the elbow fitting. Be prepared for some water to spill. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Open the dishwasher door and unthread the two screws securing the dishwasher mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the legs to lower the appliance. Rotate the front legs clockwise to lower the front. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, Rotate the rear leg adjusting rod counterclockwise to lower the rear of the dishwasher. Now gently pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Place a weight on top of the dishwasher to help stabilize it. If you need to replace the fill tank, lift up the left side insulation. Use pliers to release the spring clamp securing the inlet hose to the fill tank. Pull the hose off. Release the retaining tabs to detach the outlet hose. Detach the overflow hose as well. Next, fully remove the lower dish rack. Unthread the fill tank retaining ring and you can remove the old fill tank. Install the new fill tank by aligning it on the side panel, then thread the retaining ring to secure. Replace the lower dish rack.
attach the hoses to the appropriate ports. Reposition the insulation. Remove the weight. To reach certain components on the bottom of the dishwasher, you will need to tip the appliance back. To do this, you will probably need to detach the power supply cord from the junction box. Unthread the screw to release the junction box cover. Note the orientation of the power wires and grounding wire, then untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the wires. Have an assistant help you to lift up the front of the appliance and support it. Unthread the strain relief nut and detach the strain relief and cord from the junction box. Now tip the appliance back and rest it on the rear panel. Release the tab to detach the rear leg adjusting rod. Using pliers, squeeze the retaining clips to release the bottom panel to access the pumps, pressure switch, or turbidity sensor. To replace the drain pump, depress the tab and rotate the pump counterclockwise to detach it from the sump. Disconnect the wire connector to fully release the old pump. Install the new drain pump by first connecting the wire connector. Then insert the pump into the sump port and rotate clockwise to lock it into position. Align the bottom panel tabs with the slots in the base and snap the panel into place. Insert the bottom of the adjusting rod into the hole in the base, then snap the upper portion in Return the dishwasher to its upright position. If necessary, support the front of the appliance. Fully position the power supply cord and strain relief in the junction box. Then thread and tighten the strain relief nut. Remove the support. Join the black wires together, the white wires together, and the green grounding wires together, and secure them with the wire nuts. With the wires positioned inside the junction box, realign the cover and rethread the screw. To reinstall the dishwasher, confirm that the end of the drain hose is accessible through the hole in the cabinet, and the water supply line is positioned in the channel in the base. Now gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Extend the front leveling legs if necessary. Rotate the adjusting rod clockwise to extend the rear leg. Rethread the screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or garbage disposer.
make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Thread the water supply line elbow fitting onto the inlet valve port and tighten. Realign the lower access panel and rethread the screws to secure. With the reinstallation complete, turn the water supply back on, as well as the power, and your dishwasher should be ready for use.